Welcome everyone. In this tutorial, I will be configuring APGX, which is a Google Cloud API management platform, management and development platform. And please subscribe to my channel, put your valuable comments and share it with your friends. So I have logged in with a, my account, Gmail account, and I browse to cloud.google.com. And here I can search for APG. APGX. Okay, so search results are coming. So in the top two results, let's go for the second one as I have seen it from my experience earlier that it comes with this uh, what is APG? This is a title APG is a platform for developing and managing APIs. Now, here what you can do is this is the APG architecture which we will be taking in the later lecture. Now we can set up enough talk, set up APG. So that is what I am in, interested in. So before you begin uh, to these steps, installation and configuration process. So the general process for provisioning a paid org is as follows. Okay. Uh, this section describes the overall process of setting up and configuring the paid organization with APG. So do not proceed until you have satisfied the prerequisite. In addition, if you are unsure whether you have a paid or eval org, see the differences between the paid and eval org. So mine is eval org. I just want to evaluate. Hmm. Okay. So this is the general purpose process for provisioning a paid. Okay. And then uh, let's see the prerequisites. So before you can set up and deploy API proxies with APG, you must meet the following prerequisites. Let's see. Uh, eval orgs are time limited and lack the scalability and flexibility of paid or production orgs. For more about the differences between the account organization types the uh, organization types so here i will not go deeper into this but uh, what i am interested in before you can set up and deploy api process this i have seen by experience again that it is common for the paid as well as the eval organization so i have to do a google cloud billing account okay so I will have to create a new billing account for this uh, Gmail account. This is a new Gmail account I have created just to show you the process of setting it up. So create a new billing account. Let's see what it shows to us. Now here on this billing accounts page, it shows that add a billing account to access the full set of services and increased usage limits. So you can learn more or you can create add billing account. Okay, Because I am not allowed to set up APGX without actually going to create a, without actually setting up, setting up a billing account. So my country is New Zealand and then what my organization or needs so I can see it is either a personal project or career aspirations getting certified or class project assignment so let's see you can write class of project assignment and terms of services and I I have I just keep it unticked because I would not like to receive periodic email but if you'd like go ahead and click on this and click on continue okay so I have got my phone number send code it will send the code to my phone number and I have to give the verification code I will come back after completing this step so 
and I will just put it in click on verify so this time it comes back with the step 3 it has gone to payment information verification account is not business this is personal account individual account okay so tax information status individual individual GST number the I don't have any GST number so this is let it be individual without any uh, GST number so address and then the card details I have to give now I have given my credit card and billing details and uh, I have actually clicked on click start my free trial okay now it comes up with this welcome Kaushik your free trial includes $300 in credit to spend over the next 90 days to help us serve your better please answer these four questions okay so if you click on next what happens what are you interested in okay anyway whatever I'm not sure yet okay next what this describes your role engineer say whatever you think it doesn't matter really and click on done so my billing documentation is already there so my billing is already set up as you can see over here you can see it is New Zealand dollar 433 equivalent to 300 US dollar and 91 days remaining okay right now I'll go to the next step so now we have come back to the now I have already set up the billing so now coming back to the other requirements this is the get started document again select the project and start the APG provisioning you wizard so ensure that you have made the prerequisites as described in this so again coming back to the prerequisite so we have already met the first prerequisite this is already ticked now we will have to create a Google Cloud project so what are the requirements so you can just have a quick read about these uh, valid project examples okay and now I'll have to create a project okay so that will bring me to this creating a project and then if you click on go to the manage resources page so I have got these two projects already created for me somehow from a previous time or this time when I logged in uh, this was automatically created for me okay I then I can create a new project or I can use one of these two projects but I have to set up the evaluation organization for APGX so how do we do that now before I even look into the Google Cloud projects I have to also look for this having met this prerequisite of installing Google Cloud SDK now this machine already has Google Cloud SDK but if it is not there with you for the first time then you can just click open link in a new tab and you can install Google Cloud API okay download the cloud SDK installer I'm doing it again let's see it's downloaded over here let me open it from this position where it is downloaded and it comes up with this dialog welcome to Google Cloud SDK setup next click on I agree single user and I can change the destination folder to somewhere else okay so let it be the destination folder by default default destination folder click on install there is already a version of Google Cloud SDK already it is recommended that you first uninstall the previous version do you want to continue the installation anyway no so just I wanted to demonstrate that's why I came to this step okay so I have already had this Google SDK installed on my machine 
Now I have already demonstrated that I have done these two steps cloud billing account I have made I have installed the software and I also have two default projects. So let me go to the next step to provision an eval org. Okay. So click on open in the new tab or anyway that the same tab provision and eval org. Okay. So I'll have to click on this link creating an eval org with APG provisioning wizard that open a familiar site right configure apg x to start using it with your google cloud platform okay so now i have to enter a project id but i'll have to have a google project id with a google project that has got an apg entitlement so let me create a new project altogether although i had a couple of projects that i have already shown let me exclusively do it for apgx management okay so by default it sets up a name so i'll just get rid of this my project name is say apg already i have created in my early account so apg training or you can say apg course project anything that suits your intellect you can go for it and it is no organization eval organization is no organization click on create now up here in the google cloud cloud platform dashboard you can see there are drop down list which shows three of these projects that i have created these two are earlier created and this is already i have created so i will this already ticked because i have opened this and let me see what i can do with the billing i have to link this billing account with this apg course project so i've got here a note has come free trial status though so much so dollar of credit in 91 days remaining with a full account you can get you will get unlimited access to all google cloud platform so i will click on activate okay keep your okay and then activate activate your full account continue over there now after having set up the billing this is you can see I have come back to the dashboard again by clicking on home and dashboard and you can see that billing APG course project that I have created especially for this course has got this billing accounts billing APG course projects this billing is now linked with this new Google Cloud project now these two things are particularly important project name so I have to somehow um, copy it on my clipboard or keep it open on this tab and project name and project ID will be important not the project number so let me do the setup here so let me open the project okay so enter a GCP project ID GCP project ID so I have copied the project ID okay and then it's all there try out the powerful feature start evaluation all right so you are all set up so now this will enable APIs it will in successive steps it will set up the things enable API networking not configured okay evaluation cannot be so just disregard this I have found that evaluation cannot be converted into a paid plan so change plan just overlook this and click on enable APIs and it comes in the edit mode and I click on enable APIs so it is going to enable the APIs so this is a bit of a uh, I mean it creates a bit of a confusion and misunderstanding among the people like uh, us so it's now enabling the API so I'll come back after fully configuring all these steps enable API's networking APG evaluation organization and X 
routing. Now I can show you that it has already enabled all the APIs and then for the networking I click on edit and authorize networks are there. Let us see what is there in the drop down list. Let us go for the default verifying network automatically allocate IP range select one or more existing IP range or create a new one. Uh, I think I did this one automatically allocate IP range so click allocate and connect so it is doing the networking it takes a wee bit of time a few minutes in fact so I will stop and come back after the networking is done establishing private connection to Google services using that VPC network default okay so let's come back again once more so now I can show that the show you that networking already is configured so click on edit for the apg evaluation organization so there are a couple of things here analytic hosting region and runtime location so let's see asia australia southeast one australia australia south so now i click on after the runtime location and the analytics hosting region are selected I click on provision and it is setting the evaluation organization now you can see that the apg evaluation organization is already configured and I am into access routing which is to be configured okay so I have clicked on edit and this uh, um, this um, interface has come up in front of me so I have should eval group be accessible from the internet so this is no internet access now this will be good for configuring if you are working in your local environment development environment your APIs will only be accessible from your internal network and each of the regions will use a different internal IP address so you will still be able to run all those tutorials but I suggest if you are going to install it in your production in your organizations then go for this enable internet access and uh, this will have a load balancer pricing of uh, approximately 20 to 25 US dollar per month estimate and then you click on set access okay so if you click on set access it will um, configure and this will take some time loading resources and if you are practicing then uh, for your home environment I suggest after using it and running all the tutorials you must delete the project in order not to incur any price above your free quota of 300 US dollar so we'll come back after once it um, configures the access routing it has completed the access routing now already the access routing is configured so click on continue so now there are the next steps so you can test your apg runtime end to end uh, by clicking launch and then you can also after doing this we can open the apg console so that will come next 